Hey everybody, this is Miss Tracy coming to you with some creative crop ideas to use at home. Each week in class, we like to use scarves. It helps with level recognition of going up and down and around in circles. It also helps with listening and following directions. If you don't have a scarf at home, use a extra piece of material, even a leotard or a t-shirt. Just make sure it's not too cumbersome or too heavy for your little one. Balance is a huge part in our dance world and working on our motor skills at a young age is very pertinent to the advancement of our dancers. We like to utilize bean bags as well as uh, balance beams in class on a weekly basis to continue fostering these motor skills. If you don't have any bean bags at home, simply use a pair of rolled up socks. I know most of us don't have balance beams at home, but you can simply get out some painter's tape and masking tape. You can tape a straight line on the floor or you can get creative and create different shapes on the floor with the tape and have your little one walk across it. Rhythm and counting is a huge part in dance. Dancers count from one to eight and then they start over at one. Find music that's kid friendly on the radio, iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, or Pandora. Find the beat of the music and clap with them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and so on. If you want to get more creative at home, utilize wooden spoons or even pots and pans. Another great tool for working on following directions and motor skills at home is using cups. A lot of times we will utilize cones in class. Make sure when you put the cup out that you're counting. One cup, two, three, four, and so on. Have them weave in and out of the cups, and then when you pick them up, you can count forwards again, or if you want to get a little tricky, you can count backwards. During class each week, we have our little ones stand on dots. This is great for them following directions as well as utilizing their listening skills. To make dots at home, simply cut out a piece of paper in a circle shape or take a paper plate and cut the center out. We've also been working on right and left. To reinforce this at home, please write right foot and left foot on each of the dots. Make sure they're standing on the correct ones. You can also cut out stars, triangles, squares, and any other shapes for shape recognition. Each week at the beginning of our classes, we utilize coloring and activities. A simple box of Crayola crayons is great to continue fostering this motor skill.